Corners back. I am giving you my week 15 post op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Um, it is September 8th, 2015. Um, 15 weeks ago on May 25th, 2015, I had vertical sleeve at the Oasis of Hope Hospital in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Zavolza. I am so tired, so if I yawn during this video, I'm sorry. It's Kevin. Woo. Sorry. I am so tired. It's early in the morning. I just dropped my kids off at school. Um, well, my boys. It's, um, I don't know. What is it, like 730? I don't know. Um, it's early. Um, so... I'm tired because I had my niece and nephew all weekend. Um, I got them, my niece is 15 and my nephew is 13 and I got them on Friday. No, oh, so tired. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Um, I got them on Friday and then had them Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night and all day yesterday. It was great. I loved having my niece and nephew here. And they got to play with my kids and um, we got to just hang out with them. I think that that's, um, it was a really good time. And if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have kept them for three nights. <laughs> um, I liked it, but it was exhausting because each night, um, I stayed up and watched, binge watched, um, once upon a time with my niece. So being up at, uh, I don't know, until like two o'clock in the morning, at least, every night and then waking up early and cooking breakfast for five kids and then which I mean I might have five kids someday I already have three but it's a lot to go from three to five at once and um, I was up late last night again and then it's early in the morning now so I probably should be sleeping and do this video later but I wanted to get it out of the way because it's already a day late I'm sorry um, it's a day late, like I said, because yesterday was Memorial Day. Not Memorial Day. Nope. I feel like I have to auto-correct at least once a video. Sorry. Um, it was Labor Day. Yesterday was Labor Day. And I had my sister's family over and my brother's family over. And we were playing games and eating things that we shouldn't be eating, like pizza and chips. Um, I didn't eat a cupcake. But I did have two pieces of pizza throughout the night, and I had about eight Cool Ranch Doritos chips that I shouldn't have eaten. But you gotta live life, and it's a decision I made, and I own it, and I can get past it. Um, so I was anticipating having a not great number because of what I ate last night, late last night, but... I hit a new low. Can you believe it? That's crazy. Um, Friday I had called my brother because we had surgery together and I was very distraught because the 240s have been going by so slow and um, slowly and I just felt like what if this is it? Like what if I've lost 66 pounds and this is all I get out of it because my diet had been very on point and exact and I had tracked everything I ate and I was getting about 900 calories a day, eating 75 to 90 something um, grams of protein a day, only getting like 30 carbohydrates, grams of carbohydrates um, a day, and I was going on two mile like walks or interval runs. Um, I just felt like I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not losing and I'm not budging and I'm losing at a slower rate than I ever have so maybe I should just give it up <laughs> and um, eat whatever I want if I'm gonna be here anyways that's the way I used to always talk and that's why I could never consistently lose weight because as soon as I hit a stall for a long time I think why am I putting myself through all of this 
exercise and good eating if I'm just going to stall. And then I would gain my weight back. Um, that's why I appreciate the sleeve because I can't binge eat the way that I normally would. Two pieces of pizza yesterday is not that big of a deal when you think of um, all the options I could have had. Um, and the fact that that was throughout the course of the whole night. And that's what was available to me. And yeah, I could have just eaten a string cheese. But you know what? My whole family was there. And I don't want to be that odd man out, you know? Um, and it's just one night. It's not like I have pizza every single night. And um, it was a holiday. And I can make all the excuses that I want as to why I ate the pizza and like eight chips but um I own it but I didn't make a new low today and I don't think that it's because I ate the wrong things I think it's because I did the right things for so long and it's finally catching up to me and I do wonder how low I would have been if I didn't eat such crud last night but I will not know because that's not my circumstances and that's okay um on May 4th, 2015, when I had my pre-op diet, my high at that point was 312. I have been higher than that in my life, but not by much, like 5 pounds. I think my highest ever recorded weight was 317. Um, but that was like late 2014. Um, about a year ago. So... Pre-op weight, I was 312. Surgery weight, 296.6. And today, 15 weeks post-op, um, September 8th, I am 245.0. So that's a new low for me. Um, total weight loss. Since my pre-op is 67 pounds, um, let me put my phone on mute. Um, 67 pounds is a lot of pounds to lose, and in five pounds I will be at my halfway mark. Um, six pounds, and I will have less to lose than I've already lost, and that's pretty amazing. Um, so, I'm thankful for this stall in the sense that I, th I do feel like my body has changed and had a, the ability to kind of play catch up. Um, my stomach has firmed up more. I feel like my arms have firmed up a little bit more. Um, my legs are as droopy as ever, but I'm sure they would be even droopier if I would have continued to lose at the rate that I was losing, um, like four pounds a week. Um, or there around um, so I'm thankful for my stall but I'm thankful I broke my stall and I'm hoping that I don't have to stay at 245 for too much longer considering I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing if I'm putting in the effort I want the rewards if I'm gonna get my stomach cut out I want the rewards um, but maybe that's just like vain of me I don't know I I don't know. Um, I mean, I think it's natural to want success out of your hard work. Um, I saw my neighbor. I was I was just finishing up a two mile walk, and she called me over and she's like, "Oh, you look so much smaller. Look at you. You're getting sexy. All this stuff." Like, I hadn't seen her in a long well for like in person in a while. Um, I don't think I had seen her other than like just waving hi um, but not like in person have a conversation with her since before my surgery or just after um, and so she said what did you do and I said oh I went to Mexico and got my stomach cut out <laughs> and now I can only eat a serving size and she said girl you cheated okay I said, yeah okay I cheated but I'm getting success and um she said, well, what can you eat now? And I said, well, like, my husband made pancakes for breakfast for my niece and nephew and my, my kids and everybody. 
and um, they were super thin pancakes and I had one pancake and I was so full and I said like one pancake I said you know it like it forces me to have portion control where I normally would not have that control and she said yeah but I want bacon and grits and toast and waffles and pancakes she said I want it all like I said well I could have it all too I said but I would just have a little bit of each she said, no, I want to go to an all, all-you-can-eat buffet. Like, I can't do that. And I said, well, okay, well, that's why I've lost 67 pounds and you haven't. Like, not that she needs to because she looks adorable, but I don't have the self-control and I can't eat anything that I want and maintain a healthy weight. Um, so I had surgery. Um, I had surgery because my brother was having surgery with or without me and said, why don't you do this with me? I have surgery because I have life plans that being as big as I was would prevent me from living the life I want to live. And in order to get the results that I needed, I need to have surgery. And I have lost 67 pounds, but I have a long way to go. And um, I'll tell you how far I have to go. I, sh I should be able to do this math. Um, I have 75 pounds until my 170 goal. I feel like that's pretty obtainable. Um, I've never, I don't remember. I mean, I, I could figure it out how long it's been. It's been like seven years since I've been this small. Um, and I'm not even small. I mean, this, since I've been this big and not bigger, maybe I should say. Um, so, I wasn't doing it on my own. Weight Watchers is a tool. Jenny Craig is a tool. Um, Nutrisystem is a tool. Um, the treadmill is a tool. Going for a run is a tool to get healthy. And, um... My sleeve is my tool. It's one of the tools that I use in order to lose weight. And yeah, I do sometimes feel like I cheated. And I don't know how other people feel about that. My brother says, well, I mean, if you couldn't see, you would use glasses. And nobody would look at you and think that's crazy. Or if most of our family's from Michigan. And he said, whether you take a car or you fly, you're getting there to your destination. You would be getting to Michigan. And this is just a tool to help you arrive sooner. Um, I still feel like it's a... When people ask me what I've done to lose weight, I feel like I'm lying when I say that it's low carb, high protein diet with exercise and strict portion control. And I usually end up private messaging that person or having a private conversation like I did with my neighbor and telling them what I did because I feel like I'm not telling them the whole truth or that I'm lying to them if I don't tell them. I get some of my own stuff to work out. Like, I assume that other people assume that I had weight loss surgery because of how fast I've lost my weight. Nobody just simply loses 67 pounds in three and a half months without doing something severe. So either I'm using a tool like an eating disorder, which I don't think is like a good tool, but something, 
or I'm, yeah, like I'm starving myself, or I had surgery. I assume other people assume that I had surgery, and I feel bad not telling them. And the people that I have told, most of them, the response is, can you give me more details because I'm considering. I am considering it. It's amazing the, um, the conversations that I have with people that instead of them saying why would you do that or oh you cheated like my neighbor said but she did say like good for you like you did it like you, that's courageous to go do that but anyways how do you all handle it um because my family knows but not a lot of my friends know and I'm shortly, like, I'm starting to I'm starting to come out with my surgery. But I don't know how I feel about just telling everybody. And it's not because I feel like it would be easier if I did tell everybody. Because then everybody would know and there would be no secret. And then haters are going to hate and there's nothing I can do about it and and I'm okay with that reaction I just feel like I'm living under false pretenses if I don't say that I had surgery does that make sense? am I making any sense? I'm like 17 minutes I haven't done a long video like this in forever um what do you do? And what is your plan? If you are pre-op, what is your plan? Are you letting everybody know? I know people are like, it's none of their business what I've done. Well, yeah, it's not any of their business, but... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers me so much to not be completely upfront and truthful about it. Maybe because I live more like an open book similar to the fact that I do YouTube videos. If somebody ran across my YouTube videos and didn't know that I had surgery, I want I I think I'd be like, "Oh, you finally know." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I'm at a new low. And I'm at a new low in 15 weeks because of my sleeve. And I don't regret it. Um, there are some days that I would say I would do it again in a heartbeat. And there's other days that I think, what have I done? Like, when I can't eat anything, I think, what have I done? Like, I mourn food and just being able to eat when... I eat two pieces of pizza and feel bad about it, I get upset with myself like, why am I being so, like two pieces of pizza shouldn't make it or break it for me. Like, why am I obsessing over the fact that I had two pieces of pizza when there are bigger problems in the world like starvation um, instead of just being thankful for the food I have. But I'm thankful for my sleeve for making me not overeat. Okay. How do you guys feel? I know I keep asking you this. Like, you're going to respond to me right now. Put your comments below. Um, what do you tell people? Um, what's your game plan? If you had it a secret and then you came out with it, what was your response? Um, because I'm really teetering on whether or not to just become completely public about my surgery. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, sleevers and YouTubers. I guess I'll let you go.
Sorry, this video wasn't more like upbeat, and it was just more like me ranting. Um. Um. See you next week. Bye.